What's up, y'all? So I'm playing Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Uh, this came as a free game when I bought the PS4. I came with this game and um, they actually gave the physical game in the box, which was nice. And I got a digital download for Little Big Planet 3, which um, I uploaded a video already showing uh, one of the levels from that game. Really in love with that game. I never thought I'd be a Little Big Planet fan, but uh, I never played the other Little Big Planets, but but uh, this is the first time I played it and I'm starting to think of picking up the other ones for the PlayStation 3. Um, but anyway, back to Lego, Lego Batman here. Um, I bought the original Lego Batman for the PlayStation 3, the first one. And uh, of course I got it like on clearance at Target, it was brand new, but I got it for like probably 15 bucks. I said, ah, why not, you know? Um, the, the Lego Batman games, if you haven't played any of these, any of these yet, um, the, the way they look, I would say is geared toward children, but the gameplay is, is pretty much a straight platformer, but there's a lot of variety to it. Uh, they show, they throw out different missions at you here, like, look, you can clearly see here, um, there's a bunch of vehicles in, in the game. It's pretty it's pretty in-depth Batman game. Of course, it's no Arkham City or Arkham Asylum or anything like that. Um, the main thing about this game is that you're just gathering up like these these uh, Lego coins or whatever and um, just trying to get a high score and stuff like that. Uh, but the missions and what you have to do, like for example in this one, in this particular mission, I have to, um, Batman became brainwashed by Brainiac, I believe, and, um, so he's causing destruction all over the Batcave, destroying shit, so as Robin and Alfred here, I have to stop him, so, uh, I have to do things like, uh, activate these vehicles here, and, uh, just try to take them down, because see, right now, Batman's in that Batmobile right there, just you know, shooting everything, and so I hop into this bat plane, or bat jet, and yeah, just start wrecking stuff. Developers that designed this game, they came up with some clever ideas as to how to approach this game. I mean, li li like this for example, you're battling a, a big, you know, a giant Batman that's comprised of bats. I mean, that's pretty, that's a pretty cool idea. Um, this guy was hard though. Like, no matter where I went, he just kept hitting me, you know? That's a checkpoint. You can switch to Alfred, but for this mission, this well, this particular part, um, you need Robin. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. God, I kept I kept falling off this. I'm such a noob at this game. Look at that! What a dumbass. You think I'm doing this on purpose by now? See, I don't know what to do here. Oh, okay. Must strike now, sir. Drinking some green tea right now. Been on this green tea kick.
Okay, this it appears like I just paused the game. And I think I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was eating something. Anyway. <laughs> but so far this game I'm having I'm having fun with it. It's a simplistically fun game. That's the best way I can describe this game. It's nothing complicated about it, even though I die a lot, but it's a lot of it has to do with the reason why I die is because it it's kind of hard to judge, like it's like where your where your character's gonna land and stuff. Like especially if you're jumping and it's like a small like area, you know, it's kind of hard to judge if you're gonna land it or not, or if you're gonna jump over a jump over a, a, a fence or a railing or something like that. Um, there's there's like a lot of shit going on like in terms of like stuff to stuff to just you know break and destroy um, you know you, it's all about breaking stuff in this game to get coins and stuff like that so um, there's a lot of stuff in your way sometimes you'll have like all right and we're back See the camera in this particular part, it it doesn't show Robin, so like I'm I'm off screen right there. See, so it's like okay, hit that man once. That's all it takes. Get the heck out of there. I like how when you get hit, like, you just explode into many Lego pieces. Look at that. It took me and Alfred out on one hit. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. I um, hope you guys are having yourself a good Christmas so far. Enjoying it at home with you know your family um, or you know any other holidays that are coming up that people celebrate Look at that! Oh boy. Gonna hit me again. I never thought it would come to this. Master Bruce, please! Your dinner is getting cold. All this, um, all this recording is done directly through the PS4. Um, in case anybody's wondering, they have this um, app, I guess you can call it, that um, already came downloaded on the PS4 called Share Factory, and it's a pretty, pretty good um, editing, video editing app or program, and. Um, it's pretty, you know, it's e it's easy to use so far. I'm, I'm still trying to get the hang of, you know, certain certain features that it it allows you to do. Um, I'm I'm glad that uh, the PS4 has such an app because now I can upload videos on my YouTube channel. Um, I've spent I know I've spent you know long periods of time where I haven't uploaded anything. Um, that's mainly due to my computer. I have a really old computer and it's just the the picture quality on it is garbage. It's not HD. Um, a lot of the videos I was doing prior to prior to getting the PS4 the way I would record things would be I'd record it through my cell phone. So um, yeah you'll notice some videos are out of focus sometimes and things like that. Um, basically I'm just recording uh, off the TV. 
I thought this was pretty cool with the Batman, the old 1960s Batman TV show thing going on. Yeah, so far I, I really like this game. Would I have bought in it if I if it wasn't free? If I didn't get it for free? Uh, I probably would end up buying it, but I would definitely wait till it goes on sale. Um, it's one of those games where I wouldn't pay $60 for it. Um, but it's if you're a Batman fan, I would say I would say buy this game. It's a different take on Batman besides the Arkham series. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But it's definitely very intuitive. It's not. It, it looks kiddy, but it, it plays like a, just a regular platformer. That's pretty challenging. It can get challenging at times, and sometimes in this game, I know I find myself not knowing what to do at certain parts. Lex Luthor. That strength of yours will come in handy once we're on the watchtower. I like how they have all the characters in, involved in this game. Supposedly you can play as all of them, uh, I'm pretty sure, once you beat the game. <laughs> anyway guys, this game's coming to an end, this commentary, and uh, thanks for watching. See you later.